Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining as we go through the solution for question 6 of the May June 2023 CSEC Mathematics Paper 2. We begin with the question. It says uh, in this question take pi as 22 over 7. The volume V of a cone with radius R and height H is given as V equal 1 third pi R square H. So we have a formula here. The diagram below shows a sector OMRN of a circle with center O radius 12 and the sector angle 168. So we have all that information and we're asked to calculate the perimeter of the sector. Now to calculate the perimeter of the sector, what we need is to find the length of this arc here and add it to these two um, radii. So we know that this side is 12, that's the radius. And because of that, this side is also 12. So for our answer, we need arc length because you recall perimeter is the distance around. Um, so it's arc length plus 2r here. And arc length for formula, we have 2 pi r angle divided by 360. And that can simplify down to um, pi r angle divided by 180. So our formula can look like this for finding the perimeter of the sector. And so it's just a matter now of putting the information into the formula and using our calculators to get a result. So we have 22 over 7, that's the pi that we're being asked to use, times 12, that's the radius, times the angle, which is 168, all of that divided by 180. Of course, when we do our calculation at the top, we end up with, in the numerator, we end up with 6,336. And dividing that by 180 gives us 35.2 centimeters. So that's the length of this arc, 35.2 centimeters. Now the perimeter, is like we said arc length which is 35.2 plus 2 times 12 that's 2 times the radius and we get the total distance around <clears throat> so it's 35.2 plus 24 all of that is in centimeters that gives us 59.2 centimeters and that is our perimeter All right, we can move on to the other part of the question. And here we are told that this um, sector here is bent to form a, a cone. Now, this is a radius. When we fold a sector to make it into a cone, the radius of the circle becomes the slant height. So this side here is 12 centimeters, which is the radius of the, of the sector making it. That side here is 12 centimeters. And we're asked to find the radius of the cone. The radius of the cone can be found with the answer that we just obtained. That is, we, real, we worked out a while ago that the length of the arc <coughs> was um, 35.2 centimeters. Now what happens here is that the length of the arc, this MN line, MRN, becomes a circumference. So this becomes this. And so because we know that this is 35.2, this circumference here is also 35.2. Now we know that circumference can be calculated as 2 pi r. And we know our circumference here is 2 times 22 over 7 times our radius and it should give us 35.2 so multiplying here gives us 44 r over 7 and um, that gives us 35.2 a quick cross multiplication there gives us that 44 r would be equal to 7 times 35.2 and therefore r is 7 times 35, 
that's an ugly 35 let me just fix that um, 7 times 35.2 divided by 44 now again using your device because this is purely a calculator issue we end up with in the numerator 246 and multiplying that sorry dividing that by 44 gives us 5.6 centimeters so our radius here is 5.6 centimeters moving on remember for our cone we have this radius to be 5.6 centimeters and this line which was the radius of the circle um, forming the sector was 12 here we have told to find the height of the cone now if you notice we have a right angled triangle here and the height is one side of our right angled triangle so we can use <clears throat> we can use Pythagoras' theorem there to sort it out so we can say h square plus 5.6 square is equal to 12 square all right um that pretty much tells us that h square plus if you want to use our calculator here to write this out 31.36 is equal to 144 and now we subtract 8 square is equal to 30 um let's write this properly 8 square is 144 minus 31 0.36 of course that gives us that a square is 112.64 and of course you should go ahead and verify this on your device to make sure that you get the same thing and um, h now to find the square root of 112.64 gives us 10.6 centimeters okay um, moving on we have the same cone and we're asked to find the capacity of the cone Now, capacity is similar to volume just that capacity is volume on the inside so the capacity is how much the cone can hold so how much liquid can the cone hold of course we're ignoring things like the amount of material that it takes to make it up and the thickness and that kind of stuff so it's just the inside of the cone we're dealing with um, the formula is given in the question so we use this formula V is equal to one third um, pi r square height remember our our radius is 5.6 centimeters so and our height is um, we just calculated it to be 10.6 so let's write that in 10.6 so now v is equal to 1 times 22 over 1 over 3 times 22 over 7 um, times the radius which is 5.6 square times 10.6 and <clears throat> again this is just a matter for using your calculator so we just type all this information in 1 times 22 times 5.6 square times 10.6 of course all of this is over 21 and that gives us 7313.2 divided by 21 which is 348 and since we're using centimeters in this question um, then this is centimeter cube now notice that your answer is in liters um, 348 centimeter cube is the same thing as saying 348 ml um, 1000 cm cube is the same thing as 1000 ml which is the same thing as one liter 
And so because we want our answer in liters, we need to now go ahead and divide over 348 by 1000. And that of course gives us 0 0.348 liters. And that's the capacity the capacity of the of the cone that takes us to the end of our question of question number six um, thank you for watching of course you can find past papers and other practice material at, an, at the website at csecmathreater.com you will also find more videos and explanations and also help with SBA if you found this video useful Please suggest it to someone who needs to understand this or is looking for solutions that they can find to practice for their exam. Keep working hard. Until next time when you go to question 7. See you then.